Friday, September 16th, there's a football game at home versus Reed Spring and the SAG kickoff party from 9.30 to 11. Saturday, September 17th, there's a softball tournament at Branson and a volleyball tournament in Ash Grove. Monday, September 19th, there's a JV football game at Marionville at 6.30. Tuesday, September 20th, there's a softball game in Stockton. Thursday, September 22nd, there's a softball game at home versus Strafford, a volleyball game at home versus Miller, and the Powder Puff game during 7th hour. And then Friday, September 23rd, there is no school. That night, there's a homecoming football game at 7 and the homecoming dance after the game. And that's this week's announcements. Uh, I think I should win because I will be the hottest freshman guy slash girl, however you want to put it. So vote for me, and I will be the best. Uh, I think you should pick me for the Powder Puff Queen because I'm just going to have a lot of fun with it. You sound the prettiest girl out there. Vote for me. Why should people come to the said kickoff party? Because nothing good happens after a football game if you ain't at the sad kickoff. What do people have to look forward to at the sad kickoff party? At the sad kickoff party, everyone should be looking forward to inflatables, food, Justin Bieber, hippopotamuses, gorillas, and a lion tamer. Who's allowed to come? Anyone who wants to be in SAD is allowed to come. Everyone should come. You have to pay your $10 dues at the door, but that covers you for the whole year. So everyone should come. It'll be fun. Don't be a freaking idiot. Gosh. Just go. Give me my freaking chapstick. My lips hurt real bad. this season. We have a really good senior class and a really big offensive lineman and defensive lineman. Which game do you think will be your biggest challenge and why? To be honest, I'm going to give you the coach's standard answer. Our next game is our biggest challenge. That's really the, the, the main one that we think about each week. Guys, tonight is going to be our first Friday night home football game. It will be a great atmosphere, so come on out, have a good time, uh, wear purple, get out there with the purple thunder and have some fun cheering on the uh, football crowd. It will be a great time. Here's Coach Flores to talk about Fairgrove's first soccer team. Some of the improvements we need to make throughout the season are basically uh, just to gain experience. We're a really young team and we're very new to the sport. Half of our starters have never played before, or at least since like elementary school. So we're just getting the fundamentals down. We're just getting some experience on the field and in practice. And as long as we continue to work hard and just kind of focus, um, it'll come, we'll get better. And as the season goes on, we'll be able to compete in more and more games. And um, as far as the rest of the season goes, um, every game we just got to take one at a time and just keep improving, keep focusing on the fundamentals and keep... It was a big contest whenever we faced Pleasant Hope. That's always a big contest. Um, Marionville, they beat us twice and uh, we sure would like to get revenge on them. They're a really good team. They beat us this last weekend in the tournament and then we came around and won two games after that. Um, Stratford is always one that we want to beat, so let's go get them. <laughs> to 11 returning players, uh, 7 on varsity, and I've got about 6 new kids that are coming in to play and, and learning how to do things and how we operate. Um, all of them are working really hard, so we, we came up, you know, started off really good. You know, we've had quite a few good moments as far as um, games. We, you know, we, we're playing really solid. Uh, you know, it's one of those things that we face a lot of good competition, so as long as the girls um, keep working hard and uh, towards the end be a district high, that's what we want to do. Uh, we've got Katie Heifel, Michaela Buckner, Allie O'Neill, and Sierra Grossclose 
and uh, all of them contribute to our team in a major way. Learn how to merge. Watch out for other drivers. Wear your seatbelt. Don't text while driving. Never fall asleep while driving. Trust me, I would know. <laughs> Almost ran off the side of the road completely. Always, always swerve to avoid hitting a cat.